Uh, it isn't that we don't believe in toothpaste brushing. It's just that toothpaste brushing serves as a cosmetic aid, not as much of keeping the mouth clean. Because I can show you uh, a, a couple models here and a, and a rug, what happens when you uh, brush. Now, this cuff around the tooth is elastic and it has to be kept tight. As soon as plaque gets in here and the lysozymes from the dead cells start to destroy this tissue, then this area opens up and now you have a place for the plaque to hide. Uh, this can well be demonstrated on the model by, by using a rug. When you sweep, it's just like if you put a, have a dirty floor, and now we have a floor here with dirt all over it, and we'll say this is the tooth. In fact, we can draw this area into a tooth. And the rug then is the cuff or the gum. Now, if you brush these teeth, You will find, if you get through brushing, you have brushed, some of the plaque has gone into the brush, but most of the plaque is found underneath the gum. And this would be the same as having this gum here. This gum here, when you brush like this, in fact, we could even try and put some on here. It's gonna be a little difficult, but we probably can get it in here. And in sweeping or brushing, you can note that most of this ended up down here. This would have been your plaque that you brushed away. The plaque that you saw go under the rug is under the rug or under the gum here. And as you brushed it, you've brushed it in there. Now, we do not check plaque with disclosing tablets because they do not show us where the damaging plaque really is. We do it with a brush we call a plaque checker. This is an oversized plaque checker. However, it will show you exactly by thrusting the brush into the sulcus with a dark brush, dark bristle brush, or into the sulcus here. You pick up this plaque, white material, and you can now see where the plaque really is. Once the mouth is thoroughly clean, a brush going in here should not pick any plaque up. We'll now transfer you to a small model. And on this model here, we'll use a small plaque checker. Here we'll thrust the brush into the proximal spaces where some plaque has been placed before. You can see the plaque on the brush. Now this is very indicative of an unclean mouth. A mouth may look very clean after it's been brushed and flossed. However, when you thrust this plaque checker brush into these areas, you'll soon see that the cleaning has not been done. Now, the, uh, let's review here using this brush and the blotting technique, and the bristles again are thrust directly into the sulcus area. The brush is a capillary action type of brush. We'll now take you to a small mo life-size model, and hey, can have you take a look at true case of periodontal disease that may not be too bad as far as pockets are concerned, pockets the depth in the bone. However, with good mouth care, this gingivitis rapidly disappears. Now we go to a model here that shows deeper pockets and we'll use the handle here as a probe. And you'll notice that we're probing the pockets down to the depth of wherever they are. To sum this up slightly, we'll take a tooth here and we'll put it through the blotting technique in fact, you probably should put it through the brushing technique first. And I uh, don't really mind which way you brush, as long as you blot after you brush. Now, it's a good idea to brush in the morning because brushing is primarily co cosmetic. So you brush your teeth, and then you blot them. You can blot them on your way to work, or you can blot them during coffee break. And then the rest of the day, really, blotting is adequate. And if you blot in the evening, you should be able to have a healthy mouth, pleasant breath, continually. Thank you.